All right, so I put out my Yankees off-season predictions video. I put out my Mets off-season predictions video. I put my MLB free agent predictions. I um, put out my contract predictions. I also put out a video yesterday about um, the Astros Stein stealing uh, potential scandal um, that's uh, kind of going viral right now. If you want to see any of those videos and you haven't seen them yet on my channel, click the subscribe button, click the subscribe button, and the bell next to it. I'm going to be putting new videos out um, every couple of days now. Um, and now that I put out my Yankees and Mets video, I've gotten some requests. So I've gotten some requests to put out a off season for the Phillies, the Blue Jays, the Angels, the Pirates, and what I'm going to do right now is the Cubs. And each video I'm going to say, just like I did with the Yankees and the Mets, what I think they should do versus what I think they will actually do. All right. Um, you could think I'm off the wall, but uh, I tried to be as reasonable as possible, you know, with a couple of bold outside the box proposals. And, um, I would like to know what you think of it, so leave a comment in the comment section for whatever you think. If you have any other ideas, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like it, like I said, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. All right. So let's get to the Cubs. Uh, I think they can do some things. They have some versatility, and uh, I think they might make some bold moves. So what do I think they should do? I don't think Anthony Brizzo is coming back. Okay. Um, and um, I do think he's obviously going to be moving on, and I think he's going to be replaced by somebody. But what I think they should do is make a trade with the Yankees. Um, instead of spending big money for a first base and, and giving you know draft picks for a potentially qualifying offer, the Yankees have two or three first basemen um, options. So what I think the, the Cubs should do is package Greg Abbott, who's their number eight prospect, who's a starting pitcher, and... Justin Steele, who's their number 10 prospect, who's a lefty starting pitcher, and package them together, send them to the Yankees for Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt, I think, will fit in nicely in the Cubs lineup. Uh, he also has four years. He doesn't have a free agent until 2024. He's young, and um, I think he would be a nice replacement to Anthony Rizzo. He's a righty, but um, he's, a good team, he's a good team guy, clubhouse guy. Um, he can hit the ball when he plays, when he's healthy, and uh, he is healthy coming back in the offseason, so... Um, it's a trade that I think they should consider making. Um, and again, it's not going to cost them anything but a couple of a couple of prospects. And they have a lot of pitching prospects, and these aren't even in their top five. So um, the next thing I think they should do is bring in a starter, Jake Odorizzi. Consistent guy. I think he would do really well going from the American League to the National League. You slide him right in um, and into the rotation because I do think he's going to replace another starter who I think he'll be who I think will be traded. So, but I think he'd be a good fit. Again, he comes with a qualifying offer, so you will have to give up a, a draft pick. Um, uh, not uh, two, two picks, I think a two and a five. Um, but that said, he's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than some of the other options that are out there and cheaper than the guy that uh, I think is going to be traded away or I think should be traded away. The next thing I think they should do is uh, extend Wilson uh, Contreras, their catcher. He's a good catcher, man. And I know he's got a lot of value, and I know they're talking about me potentially trading him into other teams and stuff, but uh, I, I, I don't see the upgrade there. So uh, unless you're bringing in Grandal, and even Grandal's four years older than Contreras. Contreras, I think, is 27. Grandal's 31. I might just keep a younger version of Grandal. So, um, and he's, he does a good job with the rotation. So I think they should keep him. And I think they should also re-sign Nick Castellanos. He was a good addition there. He was a good outfield option. He was a good addition to the lineup, to the team. Another veteran, he's about 30, 31 years old. Um, he's one of the better outfield options um, in the free agent market, so I would uh, re-sign him. Um, and then for the bullpen, I would bring in two guys. I think they need some help in the bullpen. They need some depth pieces, so I would bring in Cody Allen from the Cleveland Indians and uh, Jake Diekman. Um, I think you would have two good options and uh, two veteran options who are just good, consistent players. And uh, both moving, uh, or Allen moving to the National League from the American League, and Diekman, uh, both of them would be good fits to the, the bullpen. Okay, now what I think they will actually do, I think they're going to replace um, Anthony Rizzo with Jose Abreu. I think Jose Abreu is going to come across town and go from White Sox to the Cubs. Um, he's kind of crazy, but, you know, he's also, he's, he's older. I think he's three or four years older than uh, Voight. But, you know, he's a stud hitter. He puts up numbers, even though I think Voight can still put up comparable numbers or somewhat close. Uh, I do think they're going to bring in a Brayu. Sounds a little nuts, but I think that's what they're going to do. 
I also think they're going to bring in Rick Porcello. Now, Porcello is kind of on my prediction for a couple of teams as an option for starting rotation, but ultimately I think they're, um, they'll likely sign Rick Porcello instead of Jake Odorizzi. And again, a veteran guy, they can just slip in and slide into the rotation, and uh, you know, he'll be fine. No we'll move from the American League to the National League. I think it'll be a good transition as well. I think they're going to trade Wilson Contreras to either the Oakland A's or the New York Mets, either a package of prospects from the A's or to the Mets for Steven Matz, a starter, and one or two prospects. So they'll get a starter and a prospect or two for him. Um, I do think he's got a lot of trade value, so the prospects are going to have to be pretty significant unless they're going to ask for Noah Syndergaard. I wouldn't be surprised if they asked for it. I'd be a little surprised if they got it, but you never know. You never know. Um, but then again, the Mets can just sign Grandal without having to give up Syndergaard. So you have options. It's completely up to them. It's to the side. But I think they'll either go to Oakland or the Mets because Oakland needs a catcher. And uh, yeah, I think they will see. I think they will resign Castellanos. Uh, I just think he's a good fit for the team. And um, I also think instead of bringing in these two guys, they're going to go big and sign Will Smith. He does have a qualifying offer attached to him as well. So on this end, they're. They have two guys with qualifying offers. Uh, not an ideal situation, but Will Smith's the top reliever on the free agent market. I think he'd be a good addition. And uh, by you know moving some things around, potentially signing a, a starter and trading for one uh, while trading away one, uh, I do think uh, bringing in somebody to bolster the bullpen in a significant way would be a good idea. Um, now, my bold trade. It's been here, so you probably read it already. But... Um, and let us talk about trading Chris Bryant. I just don't see it happening right now. I think Mookie Betts is going to be the first superstar to go. Um, that's just my opinion. Who knows? Uh, my bold trade is to trade you Darvish to the San Diego Padres. Get into the West Coast. I think he'll have a you know be he'll be over there with a lot less pressure. I think they're I think the Padres are going to make a couple of bold moves. I think they're going to trade for a starter, and I think they're going to sign a big one. Um, and I think they're going to make some other moves too. They are they have committed to spend, and I think they're going to be. Uh, on the hunt this offseason. So I would dare my sleeper team to make some huge moves to complement the moves that they made last year and the year before. They're not done with their work yet. <clears throat> but you Darvish to the San Diego Padres for three prospects, okay? And the Cubs are probably going to have to eat a little bit of money because I think he's owed $80 million for four more years. But uh, So they will have to eat a little bit. But um, for Adrian Morajon, who's their number six prospect, he's a left-handed pitcher. Hale Baez. Their number nine prospect, a right-handed pitcher, and Hudson Potts, their number eleven prospect, a third baseman. In the event that they move on from Chris Bryant, at least they have a prospect that they may have brought in, who might be able to help um, on that end as well. So, these are my ideas of what I think about the Cubs. Um, you never know with them. Sometimes they go big with you know with these guys, <laughs> Epstein and some of these other guys. They may make some crazy moves, um, but. Let me know what you think. You know, drop a comment down below if you have any insight, if you have any other ideas, what you think they might do, what they should do. I'd love your feedback. Um, I respond to all comments as well. Um, if you have any other requests of other teams, let me know. If you like these types of videos, like I said before, click that subscribe button. Click the bell next to it so that you know anytime I post a new video. You know, I want to spread this out. Let's get everybody involved. It's off-season now, so let's put on our GM hats and uh, let's make this fun. All right, I'll talk to you next time.